And I like you strategically place a photograph of your children to remember how to love them, how to love them, how to experience them the way God intended so that your rooms are filled with beautiful treasures. And now a word to the wise. If you do these things, if wisdom builds your foundation, if understanding establishes your framework, if knowledge fills your rooms, if you listen to your parents and sift, if you understand, if you listen, if you hear your spouse, if you discipline your children, you will grow wiser still. But now a word to the foolish. If you have left your wife or your husband, go back. Don't come in to a pastor's office across the street and say, I love my wife or I love my husband, but I love this other person. Don't do it. Tell the truth. The Holy Spirit has convicted me about what's right, but I want to do the opposite anyway. Don't come into our offices across the street and say, I love my kids, but I'm leaving them for another woman or another man. Don't do it. Tell us the truth. God has convicted me, and I want to do the opposite because you got to start with the truth. I've been there, and if you don't acknowledge the truth and you don't bend your knees to the God Almighty of this universe, to Jesus Christ, and let him be the foundation of your life, you will never get out. you got to say, I can't, God. You can. That's the beginning of this blueprint. Do it. And there's hope. I've been there. I've been there. There's hope. I've asked the team to come up. We sang a song from Isaiah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. The revelation of the character and presence of God into your family, what he holds most sacred, the ultimate picture of his love. And I want you to sing that. And as you sing, I'd like you to think about the pictures that maybe you need to strategically place. But I'd also like you to do this. Why don't you stand? I'd also like you to do this. Could you please commit to God, to this blueprint, to his blueprint for family. Could you please, could you please commit to him what you need to commit? You got a broken relationship with your parents? Go back. Go back. You might not reconcile, but you can forgive and you can listen. You got a broken relationship with your wife? Go back. Listen. Commit to him now. You got a broken relationship with your kids. Go back, listen, honor, love, be with your kids. But for many of you here today, it's subtle. They're little bitty cracks. They're little bitty cracks. And as we sing, ask the Holy Spirit of God to reveal in you what those little cracks are and commit them to Him. Stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength We bow down and worship Him now How great, how awesome is He And together we sing Lord God Almighty, well, the earth is 
is filled with His glory. The earth is filled. The earth is filled with His glory. We stand and lift up our hands. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He. And together we sing. Everyone sing. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Sing, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Well, the earth is filled with The earth is filled with His glory. The earth is filled with His glory. It is rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord's renown. It's rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord's renown. It is rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord's renown. It is rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord's renown. Together we sing. And it is, the earth is filled with the wisdom of Christ, the understanding of the Holy Spirit, and the knowledge of God the Father, and it's his blueprint. It's how he created the earth, and it's how he reveals himself in our families, the ultimate picture of God's love. I'm going to pray and uh, send us out. But if you're here today, and your foundation has been Christ and something, or Christ minus something. And like my life, it was money. And like that box of gold, it kind of pushed him out. And that made my understanding of the framework kind of rickety. And my knowledge were filled with junk relationships. If that's you today, come forward and pray with us. After I say amen and dismiss, everybody, come forward and pray with us. I'm going to ask the pastoral staff and elders to come forward. We'll pray with you. We might not get it all figured out right here, but we can pray. Maybe you want to fully surrender your life to Christ and say, I can't. You can, God. Come and pray with us.